we know that hbnc level according to that we categorize the diabetes patient whether the patient has diabetes or not so hbnc 5.7 to 6.4 is a uh, pre diabetic range less than 5.7 is normal and more than 6.5 is diabetes so why we keep the target is less than 7 so this uh, these uh, are the guidelines provided by american diabetes association so what they have found out that in various studies all over the world they found out that if you keep the blood uh, sugar uh, hbnc level that is the uh, average blood sugar of around 2 to 3 months less than 7% so there are the less chance of uh, being uh, getting the complication of type 2 diabetes uh uh to that patient that is diabetic nephropathy diabetes retinopathy diabetic neuropathy as well as the diabetes cardio uh, cardiomyopathy so these chances are very less so our aim is to protect uh, the people with diabetes from this complication that's why we have advised the patient to keep their hbnc less than 7% it is not completely true uh, of course junk food leads to diabetes yes there are evidences that junk food and sedentary lifestyle leads to obesity overweight insulin resistance and thereby leading to type 2 diabetes uh, in the people but uh, there are other things like age race sex uh, genetic factors which also matters uh, in causing the diabetes like type 1 there is no such uh, relation with food it's a uh, autoimmune disease so anyone can get that uh, we know uh, that children are suffering from type 2 diabetes or uh, type 1 diabetes also uh, and type 2 diabetes uh, even the lean and thin person also getting type 2 diabetes if there is a uh, hereditary genetic uh, makeup of that person is that means it's a hereditary so it runs in family so everyone can get even the pregnant ladies get that we call gestational diabetes mellitus so not just junk food yes of course but the we know there is a concept of diabetes that is diabetes and obesity so obesity is now epidemics and epidemic is uh, because of there are plenty of food is available especially the younger generation and even the uh working class is eating the junk food with heavy quantity and there is no exercise so they are getting obese thereby leading to insulin resistance and causing the diabetes mm-hmm.